Victoria Stillwell has been training dogs in both Great Britain and the United States for nearly 14 years. Today, she's on her way to meet Jeff and Melissa, whose household has been overrun by their eight dogs. Owning a group of dogs can be a rewarding experience, but if you don't make the time to train each of them properly, the dogs will develop bad behaviors and the chaos will quickly take over your life. As you can see, he's starting to drool yeah. and we're not moving yet. So it just gets worse and worse and it just keeps pouring out of his mouth and just drools. Oh, yeah, he you is. You see drooling. it? Yeah. yeah, I see. Sometimes Melissa takes Sylvester out in her car. When Sylvester gets into the car, he starts drooling. Drooling is a symptom of anxiety. And the whole time he's in the car, he drools. Come on, it's okay. You're home now, no more. Vinny's issue is aggression. When I take Vinny for a walk, I have to use this choke collar, which I know it looks mean, but it's really honestly the only way I can hold him back. Mm -hmm. He is stronger than me. So, all right, good boy. And he loves his walks. So, I mean, yeah. I would love to take him more often. When Melissa's walking, Vinny, he gets aggressive with other dogs. I can control Vinny because he knows that I'm in control. He's definitely very, he, he's constantly looking to see like what else is around. Right, okay, so now he's got a visual of a dog. He sees the dog. I'm gonna okay. walk in the. Yep, you do what you need to do. He is stronger than me, so I get a little nervous. He's actually, I think he's maybe, Okay, Kona? He's not used to it. This isn't really the thing that bothers me. This is more of you know, the neighbor's dog and right. he seems to be okay. But it's uh it's uh the the way he's lunging. Well he when lunges. he does see certain dogs, he'll lunge and pull me. Like right now he's pulling me. Even with this collar going into so his neck. So even with the collar. She walks him with a pinch collar. But that has no effect anyway, because he's a strong, powerful dog, and he pulls her anyway with the pinch collar on. She doesn't feel confident walking him, and a couple of times he's actually got a few dogs by the throat and pinned them down, and she's scared. Victoria wants to work with her and Vinny one-on-one -on -one to bring a little peace to her walking routine. Um, so what I want to do is that I want to work on some focus work with him okay. outside. We're just going to walk a little bit, and then I'm going to show you what to do. OK. Vinny, let's go. go. This training really is for me to have confidence when I'm walking the dog. I mean, I'm, every time I walk Vinny, I'm freaked out. Now, I want you to get his focus. You put his body, your body in front of his. Vinny? It's really difficult to get Vinny's attention out on a walk. He's not motivated by food or anything. Okay. So I tried to get his focus, put my body in front of him, get him to sit. Vinny, sit. He was not listening. Then he said, he tried to look past me, he sniffed the ground, he was looking around, couldn't care less. Vinny, sit. I had to work very hard to finally get him to sit. When he did, I gave him a lot of praise. Good boy, good boy. Good oh, boy. That meant that the walk could commence. Then, Melissa takes over. Praise him for when he's not pulling. Good boy, man. Good boy. Nice. Good boy, Vin. Now, get him towards you, get him to you, and get him to sit. Vin, Vinny, Vinny, Vin, sit, sit. Don't jerk his collar or anything. I want him to listen to you, not be made to. Sit, Vin, sit. I had Melissa do the training with Vinny, and again, she found it very difficult to get him to sit. But this is what she's got to do in order for her to be able to have control with him when she's walking him past another dog. Sit. Walking down. Sit. Sit. <gasps> good boy. That's a good boy. Lovely, now walk. Oh, let's go. So you have to have persistence and patience. Right. I think it's gonna take some time for me to be as confident as I need to be to walk Vinny, but if I keep doing this every day and actually work with him on my walks with him, I think in a few months I'll be able to do it. With Sylvester feeling more comfortable at home, Victoria now wants to address his uneasy behavior in the car. 
Sylvester has anxiety. When Sylvester gets into the car seat, he draws because he's nervous. I wanted to show Sylvester that being in the car was okay. First of all, I put treats on the seat. So he would see that, oh, the seat, that means good things. Look at you, good boy. Look, what's on there? Good. And then there? What's that? Yeah. And then that encouraged him to get onto the seat and sit down. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. When Melissa got into the car, she gave Sylvester a lot of praise and she gave him some treats too. All of this was showing Sylvester that being in the car was good. What does mommy have? Look, what a good boy you are. At this juncture, because he's doing so well, we can turn the car on. Okay. All right. Good. At one point, I got Melissa to turn the car on. Sylvester was a little freaked out. He still didn't draw. Sylvester, hi. You are such a good boy. I am so proud of Sylvester and I'm so grateful that I have this tool to work with now because I can do that every day. I think it's gonna help him so much.